it is what day is it even friday morning we are having some yummy banana bread for brecky they're gonna do their little halloween countdowns um probably with banana bread countdown with banana bread and then i'm gonna go uh get ready for the day and put my face on welcome to the vlog <laughs> um 17 is that right no 18 18 today it says, what do Italian ghosts have for dinner? Spooketty. <laughs> you didn't like spooketty, but spooky. With spooky. I only opened 13. No, my camera is not focusing. You need to do 17, Merit. 17 and 18, because I guess we forgot yesterday. Do zombies eat popcorn with their fingers? No, they eat the fingers Separately. <laughs> they eat them separately. What does that mean? Because zombies are weird. <laughs> All right, let me go get ready. Y'all eat oh, up. Oh, I need my 18. Oh, okay. Let me do it. Still not ready yet. I got my grape zip fizz going, but I just want to show y'all. I know I showed y'all these pans before, but y'all. They cook the banana bread so much faster when they're in these little skinny tins rather than being in the big fat ones. And the middle gets so much more um done and nice and not like sometimes mine will come out even not done and like soggy and stuff these are a winner i'm gonna link them below again they are good <laughs> okay y'all back in the makeup closet area i showed that i got this on instagram but i wanted to make sure y'all saw it too because it is so stinking cute this is from hsn you can get it on easy pay or whatever they do but if you're a new customer and never shopped there before um you can get 20 dollars off so this thing can be really really cheap for what it is so um, it's the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And it comes with a full-size um, mascara, which is amazing. I love this mascara. And a full-size pumpkin spice lippy that smells amazing. Now, this palette is supposed to smell like pumpkin spice, but it really doesn't smell like pumpkin spice. But I don't care because the colors are to die for. Let me see if I can just open it for you. Oh, my gosh. Would you look at these? I'm going to do my makeup with them this morning. So, I wanted to show you this before I took it all out. But... I uh, just love it. Y'all know how I love Too Faced and all the smells. Even though this doesn't really smell like pumpkin spice. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the packaging too. So anyway, I love this. So fun. Okay, well, I know you can't really tell, but I did so frosty and cinnamon spice. Just a little bit, you know, a daytime look. I don't need to go too crazy with these colors. I'm just dropping these kids off and staying home all day. <laughs> Anyway, what my favorite part is, is the, um, I guess I can show you this way. Um, woo, hello. Oh, this is not very good lighting. It's not really showing what it looks like because there's all this like yellow cedar or whatever, orangey colored cedar and it's hard to tell. But anyway, I'm loving it. And my favorite part is the, um, that lippy. Ooh, it's good y'all. Okay. I gotta take these kids to school. <laughs> all right. This lighting is a little more true. So I don't know if you can tell <laughs> but I am loving it. And like I said, the lippy is great. All right, let's get to school. All right, I got the little nuggets dropped off. And yes, I am one of those people that listens to Christmas music before Halloween. But I wanted to see, I just got this album because um, I don't know, people were uh, saying it was good. The Mariah Carey Christmas. And then of course, I've had this one for years. I love the Michael Bublé one. But um, what do y'all listen to? What Christmas albums do you like? I want to know because I'm just needing, I want something new. And I like this one. This one is good, but I just, I don't know. I just like to hear new things and see what everybody else is listening to. But I have like kid ones too that we have in the car as well but let me know what your favorite Christmas album is all right I thought I'd take y'all along for my usual little morning chore when I drop the boys off then I put my boots on and I go feed the ponies the boys think it's gross that I don't wear socks with my boots but literally I'm out here for like five minutes if that so whatever sockless it is they love to see me coming come on boys
okay it was chilly out there <laughs> it's nice in the fall here like we do get like um really pretty days and stuff but it gets cold in the morning and then towards the you know afternoon it'll warm up a little bit but i don't know how many more days we have left of this before it's like winter oh, y'all this southern girl i can't handle it anyway i've lived here like what 13 no 12 11 12 years like i should be used to it by now but i'm not anyway I am going to work on a project this morning. I showed you this, I'm sure, sometime this summer, but I never got around to it. I wanted to use this, um, let's see, this little uh, notebook I got at, or what do we call this, binder I got at the Dollar Tree, and I just put keto cooking on it with my um, Cricut, and I want to print out all my recipes, y'all, because, let me put you back up here, um, like, I, when I'm cooking, first of all, I have to get the recipes off my phone. So it's like if anybody calls or if I want to do an Insta story or whatever, like I have to like take, you know, get out of my recipe and then find it back, blah, blah, blah. It's a pain. And then sometimes I have things I want to add to the recipe or say, oh, I put this in or, oh, I didn't add that or, you know, just notes or whatever. And I can't write that on a Pinterest recipe on my phone. So I just want it all together in one binder so it's nice and easy when I go to cook. So that's my goal for today. I tried to get it done yesterday and it didn't happen. So anyway, I'm going to try to do that this morning. Um, I want to paint the nails. Uh, they're chipping. So I want to take this off. This is that Hocus Pocus. Um, can we see that? Um, that I got, uh, was it last Friday? And that, um, the gel, uh, top coat that I got works great. Like it really did last a while, but now it's just, I've been doing dishes and cleaning the playroom and getting, you know, doing things that you would chip your nails. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I want to paint my nails today, you know, big accomplishment. I need to get that done. Um, Craig is bailing like they are in the middle of harvest. They're going to try to get beans done today, which is super exciting to have something checked off the list. But, um, his daddy will run the combine for the beans and then Craig is bailing like they go back um, after they combine and like bail up all the leftovers or or whatever. I'll have Greg tell you later. But um, like the stalks and stuff and then they use that for bedding. I think they use it for bedding or maybe in the ration. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I was going to go ride with him a little bit just to have a little, you know, QT, quality time, and um, then get to show you also a little bit of the harvest and the farming that's going on around here, which is our lives in the fall, y'all. So, um, what else was I going to do? I need to... I don't know, y'all. It's Friday. Just come along with me. <laughs> All right, I'm going through this and trying to figure out which ones I want to print. Um, also, I have got to share this with y'all. Okay. Um, I think it was probably maybe five years ago now we decided to give up cable. It was just real expensive and we had Netflix at the time and we were just not really using the cable. Anyway, we got rid of it. We got Hulu and of course, you know, Amazon Prime and we got, um, we had Netflix and so that's what we've had and we've loved it and it's been great. But, um, sometime, um, here recently, I realized that Hallmark does um, fall. I'm just sitting here in my chair. Um, fall movies, y'all. You, you probably already knew this. I mean, they've been doing it for years. I guess I had no idea. I love the Christmas ones, but I could get some Christmas ones on Netflix and stuff, and so I was okay the past few years. But um, fall movies? Yes, I didn't know. So I searched high and low. How do I get this? How do I watch them? You know, I didn't mind paying, you know, not not more than ten dollars a month for sure but um i wanted to have them at least just for the holiday season you know fall to christmas and then i would just get rid of it so i, got, I downloaded the um hallmark movies now or whatever total dud like they didn't have any of the fall movies they had some of the christmas ones but whatever i wasn't gonna pay i think it was just six dollars a month for that one um to not even get the fall because that's what i wanted so then late one night i was perusing instagram because i couldn't sleep and i see this app for okay let me see it's f-r-n-d-l-y tv friendly tv not sponsored they have no idea who i am please like <laughs> i paid for it anyway and they said watch hallmark um it's 5.99 a month and it's you know all the you know it's Hallmark. Like, you just get the channel, basically, is what it is. I'll show you in just a second. And then there's, like, 11 other channels, too. There's, like, a hunting channel, which, please, the boys are watching it all the time. Um, a fishing channel. It's, like, family-friendly TV. Um, QVC, which, I don't need that. <laughs> um, and then all the Hallmark channels. Um, the weather channel. The game show channel. And it's all. You get all of them for just the $5.99 a month. Y'all, I'm 
so excited. It's actually not a good thing because I have been watching those fall movies like crazy. They are so cute and so good. Like, and it just like puts you in the fall spirit. Like, I love them. I am so excited that I found this. Let me show you um on the TV here what it looks like. So you just, I have a fire stick if that um, matters at all. I don't know if that's gonna focus. All right, here we go, that's better. So it's that little um, green square there that says Friendly TV and you just download it um, like from, as an app on your fire stick or I don't know how any other things work but I'm sure it's about the same as a fire stick. So you just click on it and let's see what happens here. It's basically like having cable, y'all. It's like the actual channels are there and you can watch it live. Look here, let's see. Oh, that sounds like uh, Golden Girls. Love it. Um, so here, it's just like a, you know, a menu with whatever you want to watch. And you can just scroll down. Like, these are the Hallmark channels and then the Outdoor channel, Sportsman's channel. Um, what is that? There's like a Baby's First TV, QVC, uh, the Weather Channel. Anyway, I told you all that. So, you can... <clears throat> with the $5.99, this is what I have. You can go back. I don't know how far you can go back, but like if you missed one of the fall movies, you can go back. Let's see. And, okay, so Pumpkin Pie Wars, which is so good, y'all. And it'll say watch. And it has record over there too, but you have to pay $7.99 a month to get the record option, which would be nice because sometimes, you know, it's nice to have them recorded. But see, I can go back there and watch Pumpkin Pie's War, bleh, Pumpkin Pie Wars from last night. And I could, and that's not even like with the DVR option. That's just getting to go back on the guide and watch for five ninety nine. So to me, it is totally worth it. And see, Under the Autumn Moon comes on here in a little bit. Um, and this home and family show is super cute too. It's like a talk show or cooking show, kind of just all around little show for in the mornings. But I am just loving this, y'all. It is so cool. Um, and I can't wait because all of those Christmas movies are going to start soon. I'm so stoked about it. So that is what I've been doing all day is watching fall movies. <laughs> I just kind of have it on in the background and they're all kind of a lot of likes. You can kind of figure out what's going on if you're not like watching it constantly. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? So, I'm just going to have that on in the background all day because I'm so obsessed with it. It's friendly TV. I am here for it. Um, and like I said, I just pay the $5.99. I don't do the $7.99 with the DVR, but I can see where that would be um, a really good option too. So, I'm going to get to work on my Pinterest cookbook binder situation. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Well, that took longer than I thought, but I think I got all of my tried and true recipes. I didn't print like everything on my print <laughs> on my Pinterest page because some of those I haven't cooked and some of them I have cooked and I didn't like. So I just picked the ones that I know and love. And so now I'm going to take all this and try to get it organized in my little book. Yay, y'all. I feel so accomplished. I got it all done. <laughs> I just did um, a beef section with all my faves. And I'll um, link my Pinterest boards below if you are interested in kind of uh, my keto Pinterest board on these recipes. And then I did a uh, chicken, which I don't have many. I need to find me some more chicken recipes, but it's easier to use beef since we get that, um, you know, from our farm. So, <laughs> um, and then I did a breakfast section. And then um, just sweets here. I didn't do a bunch of the sweets because I don't have a lot of tried and true um, sweets recipes, but I am gonna think, um, bleh, I think I'm gonna make these today, the pumpkin chocolate chip bars. I do this one a ton, uh, this one, keto soft baked chocolate chip bars. So I'm thinking that this is gonna be similar and I am just really wanting some pumpkin stuff. So I think I will make this now. Um, yeah, I have everything on hand, so I'm gonna try to get this done and see what it tastes like. <laughs> okay, before I get to my pumpkin bars, I'm gonna try this Transylvania cheese that I got from Aldi. It looks so fun! Roman cave cheese, it says. I had a little bit of snip that fell off and it was good. I'm gonna cut me a slice, have it, and then get to baking. It's good, but what cheese isn't? <laughs> All right, I got this made. Doesn't it look good? I'm gonna put it um, in the oven as soon as I get back. Craig just Howdy. came in for lunch and I'm gonna go back out with them and bail. Um, so I don't, I don't know when I'll, how long it'll be. So I don't want this in the oven while I'm gone. So I'm just gonna leave it here. And then as soon as I get back, I'll pop it in the oven.
Okay, so I was right about the bedding. It's not used for ration or feed. They do that with different hay. But this, what we're bailing right now out of this baler is for bedding. And then they like put it in a, I hope you can hear me, in a bail shredder and it's like boom, 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 and then it shoots out and it makes bedding for the cattle. <laughs> anyway, we are just gonna do this. It's pretty bumpy, so I probably won't last long. <laughs> Okay, I made it back in. It is a real windy out there. Um, I'm gonna put my pumpkin pie bars in. I think I'm gonna do my nails and then watch a little Hallmark. <laughs> well, speaking of doing nails, I just got a Jane order in. This is from Threadworks Nail Wraps. They were on a deal, I don't know, about last week, I guess. So I grabbed these. Um, I don't really love these. They tend to wreck my nails because I pick at them. But I thought it'd be fun just for like my accent finger. So I'm gonna stick these in my stocking. Yes, I do my own stocking. Stay tuned, y'all. And then I got these just for like the holidays. I thought that'd be super cute, like with a, a red nail to go with. So fun. And then I also got something else, y'all. Let me get this box open. Y'all, oh, I'm excited. Oh, look at all these goodies, y'all. So Jessica, let me just turn you around so I can see you. Over at Super Clean, um, contacted me and she asked if I wanted, she's seen my vlogs and knows that I do cleaning and I'm a mama, you know, we have dirty little boys. I wanted to know if I wanted to try some of their products. Y'all, I am so excited. Let me show you what she sent. Look at that, y'all. Oh my gosh, what more perfect product to send a farmer's wife, you know? <laughs> Oh, cool. Look at all the different stuff they have. Indoor, outdoor, auto. Let's see. Degreaser. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to read over all of that. So, I got the foaming degreaser and they all come with like the little um, nozzles. And then is, oh, this is different. Um, let's see. This is just must be the regular super clean. I love the purple. It's so pretty. And then this, ooh, Craig's gonna die over this. <laughs> all wheel cleaner awesome okay and i know i think you can use both of these i read um earlier on laundry too like on uh grass stains and icky stuffy that little boys and farmers get on their laundry y'all and then um what is this sorry that's my timer going off um and then this is the spray like the aerosol super clean oh my goodness Ellie. she also said look at this mccoy is gonna freak out y'all know he loves camo how cute and then a t-shirt <laughs> oh y'all this is so fun okay let me read here about this stuff and see if there's anything i can tell you oh my goodness i'm so excited so she just sent a little note and some stickers and then it just says um super clean works quickly to remove grease oil and dirt and grime hello yes i need all that <laughs> it's biodegradable phosphate free and does not contain any bleach so they're trafe so yeah so it's safe to pre-treat stains on your clothes y'all that's gonna be awesome i'm so excited um yeah i have a little spot here i might try to um use maybe the foaming and let's see how it works okay so the foaming one says um uses for engines tools grills Ooh, grills that's good driveways outdoor furniture kitchens bathrooms stainless steel fiberglass concrete um and many other uses so kitchen that is gonna be right up my alley for today let's see how this goes all right y'all here's a spot i first thought of these eyes are so hard to get clean and it's gross over here i mean it needs some work let's see if this super clean does the trick Okay, y'all, it's been sitting for about, I don't know, maybe two minutes, but I wanted to show you. Can you see how, like, the grease and stuff is already, like, bubbling up inside of it? Like, it's getting it, and I haven't even touched it yet. Oh, my gosh.
So, this thing is like shining. Look how good it looks. I am so excited. That was the foaming kind. Wow, nice, nice, nice. I love this. Okay, so I'm just looking over this even more, and um, it says that you can do this as a drain opener, full strength, and then what you do with the other is you dilute it, like for laundry, oh, even microwave ovens, like you dilute that um, so it lasts even longer. I mean, there is just, I don't know, you can screenshot that or stop your thing there to see all the different stuff that it does. Oh my gosh, garbage containers. I need to clean our garbage can out too. Tubs and showers, pots and pans pre-soak. That was all um, to do the, um, to dilute it or whatever. So super cool. Thank you so much, super clean. This is awesome. <laughs> And I almost forgot to tell you where you can get it. Um, she says all major hardware stores, Walmart, and even Amazon carry it. And I'll link their website below. And there's a store locator in case you can't find it in your area. That would help. But I'm super excited to try this on the boys' laundry, y'all. Stay tuned for future vlogs. <laughs> all right. These just came out of the oven. And they smell so good. Do y'all see that sparkling stove top back there? <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Anyway, I'm gonna let these cool, finally do my nails, and then I'm gonna cut into one and see how they taste. I will link the recipe below. All right, what do we think? Um, that's just one of the boys' little washcloths. But I did, um, what is this? Essie Leggy Legend. I thought that was a pretty like fall color and now I'm thinking it would be good for holiday too because it's really more gold and then I just added this OPI um glitter what is this one called um golden eye uh to the top of the pointer finger does that focus I mean I guess you believe me that it's called golden eye anyway it's really pretty um I just added it to this um pointer finger and then kind of I don't know if you'll be able to tell but to the ends of the other fingers just to make it look kind of ombre Anyway, I like it. It's fun. And then I put my little Essie um, top coat, the gel top setter um, coat on too. All right, there you go. Love it. All right, I'm going to sit here and enjoy my pumpkin bar and watch, um, what is this one called? Under the Autumn Moon. I haven't seen that one yet. Sounds good. Well, he came home and claimed the hat. Let me see it, Koi. <laughs> all right it's afternoon now i think it's actually almost five mccoy is just doing some marker coloring here Merritt is zombied out over there to a hallmark movie <laughs> i think i am going to just uh do pizza tonight y'all these things work <laughs> Yes, I ate that much. Amazing. Link in it below. Must try. Even, I mean, like, I think Craig and the boys would like these too. They're not like, some keto stuff can taste kind of keto-y. Yeah, baby. This guy is riding a horse. He's riding a horse? Oh, good job. But these um, do not taste uh, keto-y at all. They're really good. Oh, my phone is ringing. Hang on. Okay, so that was Craig on the phone. We need to run by the, what do you call it, tractor implement, I guess, um, to pick up something for the tractor that's um, out. Uh, and the boys then, asked if we could do, um, our gas station does like um, pizza by the slice, if we could go in and get pizza and a pop. So, <laughs> his mama said yes, because I don't feel like cooking tonight. So, we'll get them a pizza, some pizza, and um, I'll get Craig a piece of pizza too, so he can, he'll, he won't come in for supper, so that way he can just eat it in the tractor. And um, I'll find something here for me to eat. I'm not really worried about it. So that's what we're headed to do now. Okay, we got the part um, for ooh, all that sun for the tractor. We are gonna head now. Uh, should we go get our pizza? We found a red box code that I got a long time ago. Do those things expire? Stay tuned. We're gonna try to. Um, get a red box movie too. All right, they got their pizza and their, what did y'all get, Gatorades? Y'all, my car is a disaster again. If y'all watched me clean it this summer, you'd be so disappointed in me that I let it get bad again. <laughs> anyway, y'all know I gotta die, Dr. Pepper, and I will regret it tonight when I can't fall asleep, but I needed it right now. And then I just got one of these Fit Crunch bars. They have them now at our gas station. 
it's a mistake. I, st I don't think they're like great for keto, but they're so good and so like easy in a pinch if you're hungry. Anyway, I got that. They got that. We're gonna go drop Craig's food off and this part that we got him. And um, oh, we gotta go to the Red Box first, and then we'll go drop we Craig's stuff off. Special delivery! <laughs> All right, these little monkeys are gonna go feed the horses quick. Koi's still eating his pizza, I think. Okay, go ahead, buddy. Okay, um, then they're gonna come in and we are gonna watch uh, Pikachu get excited. All right, they are gonna finish up feeding the horses. I think I said that. Um, we picked out Pikachu, so we're gonna watch that. I'm gonna do some popcorn for them real quick, and then they can choose either Reese's or M&M's to go with. I have these cute, y'all. How cute are these little popcorn balls? I usually don't let them use them, but they have, well, I can show you because I put them in the trash. Um, these, but they're, I don't know if you can tell that, it's like all coming off, and then this one got all the red inside of it, so I'm just gonna throw them away because they were just little dollar spot items anyway, but I'm gonna let them use these nice ones for the first time ever. My sister-in-law got me these, and it comes with like a big, um, a big bowl too that you like would put the popcorn in and serve it like at a party, but I'm just gonna individually put some in the little bowls for them. Um, she gave me this for Christmas. I think, I don't even think Merritt was born yet, but they are super, super cute, so I'm gonna do that. Pop the corn, let them choose, and then we are going to watch this movie. Well, that is going to be an end to today's vlog. Thanks so much, y'all, for following me along. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.